Okay, good morning, everyone, and thank you very much, Jim. So um, I, as you can see, I'm in the EDI and people team at EPSRC. So we work to support our colleagues across EPSRC and um, identifying EDI challenges within their particular um, research communities and then thinking about how we can bring that all together so that we also have a cohesive approach across the council. Um, so I'm going to start on, I'm going to adapt this a little bit on the fly because I don't want to repeat things that have already been said. Um, we are now, as we've learned, um, or no, this is a long journey we've been on. And last month, UKRI have finally published their own EDI strategy. Um, I think what this strategy really recognises is that we see people at the heart of research innovation and all these ambitions to be assigned superpower to realise the benefits of research innovation. We are not going to achieve these if we don't have an inclusive environment where everyone can take part and realise their potential. But I think Becky's really covered a lot of this already, so um, and in a much more eloquent way, so I'm not going to go into that too much. So again, just to give you an idea of where this UKRI strategy sits, and you'll hear lots of UKRI has a lot of different strategies. So the main organisational strategy is transforming tomorrow together, and that sets out our stall across various areas. So people and careers, place, ideas, innovations and impacts. And the UKRI strategy is, I suppose, getting into a slightly more specific area of people. Um, and how do we support people to have fulfilling, um, diverse and enjoyable careers in research and innovation? And underneath, sorry, was that there? No, okay. Yes, underneath that, there's all the EDI action plans. So basically there's UKRI strategy, which is quite high level. Um, and then there's every council has a different action plan. So I think we're now at the place where most councils have published their action plan. Um, I'm conscious that energy is quite um, interdisciplinary. Simone's mentioned I mean, different schools that are involved in the Durham network. Um, so I am going to focus on the EPSRC EDI action plan, but if there's some of you there from other disciplines that um, want to take a look at other, you know, NERC brought their action plan out last year as well, and with the UKRI strategy, a lot of other action plans are published. So um, I'll be focusing on that one, but just because that's what I know the most about, um, it's definitely not the, and a kind of exclusive thing, I just don't want to uh, speak to something I don't know very well. So the action plans give us a way that we can develop a variety of interventions, but also keeping that appropriate and relevance to different disciplines. I think there's benefit to the UKRI kind of um, powerful um, cross sector wide approach to having a strategy. But then as we get down to different disciplines, we see different challenges and different interventions that might be appropriate. We, they've all been informed in the same way by data, insights and community engagement. Um, and also particularly, I want to highlight these are They've been published, but they're living documents and we'll continue to develop them. It's absolutely not the case that this is, um, you'll see when you read particularly the EPSRC action plan, there's some actions which are so specific. You know, there's timelines, there's these are who we're going to work this, and this is what we're going to do. And then there's things that are really a lot more exploratory. Um, and I guess is what Jim just mentioned at the end there, there's areas where we already have a big evidence base for what are the challenges, who are the underrepresented groups. And then there's areas where we're really, we know there's challenges, um, but we don't necessarily understand the specific barriers or have the data to back that up right now. So the action plans we will share, we do all speak to each other and um, we share learning. We don't want to get into silos of, you know, this is an EPSRC problem or this is a NERC problem. Um, and that's sharing those experiences and learnings that oh, I was all trialing different things, different approaches. Becky touched on the um, anonymization aspect. So EPSRC trialed that with New Horizons. We'll all try different things in different ways and at different scales and share those with each other. And I think, again, something that would be great to hear stories from the networks and evidence that in, in a really positive way. So looking a little bit more specifically at EPSRC's action plan, we split this into five sets. So these are the high level categories that the actions come under. So we work to foster an inclusive and diverse research innovation system and work in partnership with our community support action. And I think that partnership is a key theme that comes up across the action sets, across everything. And I really want to bring that to you as the networks and as people that are going to be involved in the networks, that this isn't EPSRC telling people here's how to solve these things. This is something we've co-created with the community and we'll continue to work in partnerships with networks and um, learn societies as well. We'll be doing a lot of work with them to understand where we can best partner. Um, there's no point in repeating work that's already been done. I think, you know, you were discussing about data. Sometimes we, we have enough data. Sometimes we don't need more data to tell us certain problems. Um, Action set two is looking a lot more about peer review, um, and I'll be leading on this. So if people do have any particular questions around this, I'm happy to uh, discuss them later. Um, we really want to embed inclusive practices in how we look at our portfolio and also improve trust in this. I think there's a lot of things that we've realised that people don't realise they can maybe ask for in grants, that you are allowed to ask for money um, for additional um, 
EDI projects in your grant that you can ask for flexible working, the conditions around um, maternity and paternity leave that you can um, afford for your PDRAs. So there's a lot of things you can already do and it's maybe raising awareness. And I think also trust for people. You know, we mentioned about the pipeline earlier is one thing getting people into postgraduate degree. If they then realize this isn't for me, I can't apply for a grant. If that's what they think, then all this, all these nice actions are not so um, helpful. Action threat set three is looking at um, making like that thing I touched on there, getting people to feel they can participate in engineering and physical sciences um, research careers. Um, and then we also want to increase the diversity of voice in our advisory groups. We have a lot of advisory groups um, and structures across EPSRC and across UKRI. And we want to make sure that those have not just people from um, that have always engaged with us, have always worked with us. I think sometimes people, particularly maybe earlier in their career, see it as a bit of a closed um, group. You're either in or you're out. That's absolutely not the case. And we definitely want to encourage people to um, take part in our advisory groups. Um, and finally, and this is really the exploratory part, is action set five, is starting to investigate more of the barriers um, for accessing participation that we don't already understand um, very well, because we've just, you know, we've only been able to do so much so far. So there's a, a on the screen here, you can see a few reports that we've brought out. So Becky mentioned them, the difference in the award value for male and female is comes as a finding from our gender diversity report. So we've done a deep dives into ethnicity and race in our portfolio and into gender. And those were informed by conversations with our community um, and also have your say surveys. So these were really open surveys that anyone could participate in and then higher level strategic conversations with university partners. And we'll continue to take this approach. Again, I really can't emphasize enough, this is a partnership. We want this to be a partnership and working together with the community. So there's a lot in the action plan. Please read it if you have a long train journey or something to go on. Um, but in the next 12 months, what we're going to focus on is um, one, creating new communities of practice. So we'll be launching an EDI sharing hub call later in the year. Um, so that will be bringing together collective knowledge from across the community um, and also trying to look regionally at things that might, um, then where there might be regional spaces to work. And um, it's not, you know, there's, uh, I think particularly maybe you look at things through socioeconomic lenses, there might be specific aspects that you can actually, by taking that more local approach, um, have a more powerful um, outcome. Particular things that we're looking at, this would kind of come under the action set five area, is investigating barriers and challenges for researchers with disabilities and how they access and participate in research careers. So we're currently undertaking a neuro inclusion audit of our um, engagement practices. So that's we've been specifically working with the maths team on that. Um, we've had somebody come in from an external, uh, um, they work in neurodiversity themselves and they have been auditing all our practices and seeing how when we give things like this, when we have advisory board meetings, when we do any kind of event, how inclusive is that for those that are neurodiverse? Um, and we're also looking at how people access our national research facilities. So if you are a national research facility director, please fill in the survey that's been sent to you about that. Um, and we're also looking again at round peer review. We understand this is, there's a lot happening here. Um, in this action plan but you know we get it we're a funder and the peer review is a big part of what we do um so we i would really encourage any early career researchers particularly that are not already in our peer review college to explore um joining that it's quite an easy process to join and um, you get some additional information about how to write reviews um and i think we understand again that that participation and peer review from the reviewer and panel member side is helpful when you then become an applicant um we're also going to be having panel process observers who will be people from the community on our panels observing the process and ensuring that there's free from bias and all the processes are being followed fairly. Um, we're going to be promoting flexible models of leadership in our applications. We know this is something that people um, are keen on and we want to um, make sure that this isn't something that just because the system doesn't let us do it is that we're not able to do it. Um, and we're also going to be working with universities to understand the university selection processes because as we've mentioned there's the big ecosystem of players here and we want to make sure that we're not um we can only fund what comes in so we need to make sure that everything that should come in is coming in and finally i'm just going to highlight a few things that i thought might be particularly um interesting to you the network and again uh, emphasizing that working in partnership angle um, so we recently funded a ukri this is ukri wide with the british academy edi caucus so this is led by kate sang at harriet watt um, we're also going to be continuing engagement with our partners across learned societies and um, understanding where we can work together um, and making sure we connect research organisations in a community of practice. So I think 
the networks are a key part of this. You're all particularly, um, you know, there's the locality, there's the interdisciplinariness of it, there's working across different universities. I think making sure that um, we'd be really keen to any stories you have, um, really come and tell us them, because I think the more we know, the more we can share and the more we can keep people connected. Um, promoting existing activities, we have already done a lot. and um, We've been able to fund, for example, the energy networks. We want to promote that. We want to share what's coming out of them. Um, so that would be an example of discipline specific activities. Physical sciences have their EDI fellows um, who are people with EPSRC fellowships where a particular portion of the time is they're able to spend on addressing EDI challenges in their communities. Um, and more recently, Open Plus fellows as well will be working in similar things. Um, also, as Becky mentioned, the Inclusion Matters portfolio, we brought out last week a report with all the findings um, from that. So again, that's great to have all that practice out there and say this is what we've done. Um, there's also the EDI expectations, which we published, I, I won't say last year, but I think it was actually the year before that. As time's just kind of not have gone how I thought it's gone. Um, and that's kind of provided grant holders with a starting how to, how do I embed EDI in my grants? I think this is something we get a lot of is people coming to us and saying, where do I start? I want to do more, but I don't know what to do. Um, and the EDI expectations just gives people a bit of an overview for that and um, how they can look at and overcome local barriers. Um, and also, again, just working with universities more and things like mock prioritisation panels, um, getting early people early career or not necessarily early career, but just that perhaps, perhaps haven't previously engaged um, or had the opportunity to sit on EPSRC panels before um, an understanding of what that part of the process is like so that when they do submit their application, they have a bit more understanding and trust of what's going to happen um, to that. So um, that's a quick overview of the action plan, but hopefully I'll um, have a chance to discuss anything in a little bit more detail later. But 